Hey, this is Presh Tolwalker. Here's a fun question from the 2020 Oxford Mathematics Admissions Test. Evaluate the following sum. 1 minus 4 plus 9 minus 16 plus so on until the final two terms of plus 99 squared minus 100 squared. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will present two ways to solve this problem. First, I will present the official solution, and then I will present another way to solve the problem. To get started, let's expand the sum so that we can see the pattern a bit more clearly. Let's evaluate the sum of every pair of terms. We first have 1 minus 4, which is equal to negative 3, then 9 minus 16 is equal to negative 7, then 25 minus 36 is equal to negative 11, and so on. Now let's look at the difference between these terms. The difference between negative 3 and negative 7 is 4, and the difference between negative 7 and negative 11 is also 4. So we can see we have a pattern. The sum of every pair of terms will be an arithmetic series with a common difference of 4. To evaluate the sum of this arithmetic series, it will be useful to calculate the last term. So we need to calculate 99 squared minus 100 squared. But this is straightforward because we have a difference of squares. This factors to be 99 minus 100 multiplied by 99 plus 100. 99 minus 100 is negative 1, and 99 plus 100 is 199. So this is negative 199. Let's now use the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. We have the average of the first and last terms multiplied by the number of terms. The first term is negative 3, the last term is negative 199. How many terms do we have? The original sum has 100 terms, and we've now paired off the terms, so we're going to have 100 over 2. So substitute again, we have 1 half multiplied by negative 3 minus 199 multiplied by 100 over 2. This is equal to minus 101 multiplied by 50, which is equal to minus 5050, and that's the answer. This is one way to solve the problem, I'm now going to present another way. We will directly write the sum as an alternating sum of squares. 1 squared minus 2 squared plus 3 squared minus 4 squared, and so on until 99 squared minus 100 squared. We'll use the formula for the difference of squares on every pair of terms. So we have 1 minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2, 3 minus 4 multiplied by 3 plus 4, and so on until 99 minus 100 multiplied by 99 plus 100. When we evaluate this sum, every single term will have a negative 1. So we have negative 1 multiplied by 1 plus 2, negative 1 multiplied by 3 plus 4, and so on. We have negative 1 multiplied by 99 plus 100. So we can factor out this term of negative 1. So we have the opposite of the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100. We can thus use the formula for the sum of the numbers from 1 to 100, and this is 100 multiplied by 101 divided by 2. We want the opposite of that, and this evaluates to be negative 5050. So this is the same answer, but derived in a slightly different way. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.